In this video, we're going to have a look at how to multiply when we've got the same base. Now, if we take an example, and if we think about y to the power of 5, all that means is that you've got y <coughs> times y times y times y times y. And if we multiply it then by y cubed, all we're doing is multiplying by y, by y, and by y. Now, when we tidy all that up, what you've got is... Uh, y to the power of 8. <clears throat> so the rule when you're multiplying and you've got the same base is you just take the indices and add them up together. So 5 plus 3 makes 8. So the rule when you are working with uh, indices and you're multiplying them together and you've got the same base is a to the m times a to the n gives you a to the power of m plus n. All you're doing is taking your indices and you're adding them together and that is what you'll have as your power. Okay, so let's do a few examples and we'll see how this rule um, can be used. Okay, now, <clears throat> if we look first of all at p squared times p to the power of 5, all that's going to do is tidy up to give us p to the power of 2 plus 5, which is p to the power of 7. And that's u. For this one, we've got y to the power of 7 plus 6. So that gives us y to the power of 13. And that's it. Okay. Now, this time we've got a positive power, a positive index, and a negative index. So the rules are the same. You just take your base and you write it with the sum of the two indices you had. So 7 add negative 4. 7 add negative 4 is going to be 3. So you've got m cubed. Okay. Now, when you've got some coefficients, which I've shown here in red, you just deal with them separately, okay? So if we do 2 times 3, that gives us 6. <clears throat> and if we then just do x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 7, we end up with x to the power of 4 plus 7, which is 11. And sometimes you'll have more than just two terms going on, so the rule is the same. Um, again, we've got coefficients here, so we'll deal with them. Um, 3 times 2 times 5, so that's going to be 30. And then we've got e to the power of 5 times e, which is just e to the power of 1. And then we've got e to the power of 7 here. So we sum up each of the three indices, 5 plus 1 plus 7, that's going to make uh, 13. So that's your answer, 30 e to the power of 13. Okay, so that's all there is to it really. So here's a few examples for you to try yourselves. So pause the video and see if you can simplify these five questions. And then check back in a wee while and see how you got on. Okay, so y to the power of 3 times y to the power of 8 should give you y to the power of 11. Uh, p to the negative 7 times p to the 4 should give you p to the power of negative 7 plus 4 which is negative 3. Now, as in the previous video, we don't want to leave our answer with a negative index, so we move that base and power downstairs, and we end up with 1 over p cubed. Okay? Now, for the next one, <coughs> we've got three terms. So we just do m to the power of 7, add 4, add 2, and 7, add 4, add 2, that's going to be uh, 13. So it's m to the power of 13. Now, for the last two, We've got some coefficients going on, so we'll deal with them first. 6 threes are 18. And then m x to the power of 5 times x to the power of negative 2. The sum of the powers is going to be 3, so it's just 18x cubed. And finally, the last one. Um, deal with the coefficients again. 3 twos are 6, times it by 5, you get 30. And then we've got e to the negative 7 times e to the 3 times e to the 2. So the sum of negative 7 and 3 and 2 is going to be negative 2. Okay? Now again, we don't want our uh, power to be negative, so we move the base and power downstairs. So this is all going to move downstairs. So we end up with 30 on the top and e squared on the bottom. And that's all there is to it. So a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. Okay, so I hope you find that helpful.